Hi, and welcome to the show. I'm Leo Stockles. And I'm Rod James. I'll tell you what, guys, we are in the beautiful French River here with our good friend Tyler Perry from the French River Guiding Service. I'll tell you what, it's going to be fantastic here. Hey, from one end to the other. Bottom to the top here, there is so much here to do here in the French River. You could spend a month here and not see all of it. I urge you guys to come out here between oh, yeah. the wildlife, the fishing, the beautiful resorts all across the French River. Absolutely incredible. You're not going to want to miss this, guys. Stick around. Can't wait. Toyota Quality Service presents Fish TV. Bring your Toyota home. Brought to you by Rapala, crafted from experience. Go RV in Canada. Bring back wildhood. Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. And Eyeliner. With your hosts, Leo Stockos, Ron James, and Jeff Chizzo. Bass. Right off that weed, eh? You just ate that. Nice. What a boy. Large mouth, small mouth, walleye, musky. From one end to the other. There's such a an array of things to do here in the French River. Mm -hmm. Great resorts, great camping spots, hiking, portaging. You can get all the information on our website, fishtv.tv, or Lord, go directly to FrenchRiverResorts.com. All the information is there for all these things to do in the French River here, including catching some smallmouth bass. <laughs> I like the idea that you can bring the canoe and they portage up the, the, the creeks and the rivers. Oh, it's great. I mean, the last time we were here, we actually got some great shots of the, uh, the five-finger rapids. Oh. That was really cool. Awesome. Yeah, that is cool. The only thing missing now is to see a bear and an eagle. Yeah. Or an eagle chasing a bear. Hey. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> It's the thing about the French, you're fishing a river system, so fish can move in and out all the time. They're always on the move, the fish. So you gotta remember you're fishing current water. This French river will fluctuate almost 13 feet in a season. It drops an average of three to four inches a day. Yeah, when they shut the dams down, that's exactly right. Which means the fish are not gonna be set up in any particular spot for a long period of time. No. So you, you wanna keep checking your spots, and you know what, once you find a spot that works, Go back two, three times a day because there's a good chance that there'll be new fish moving in. Oh, guaranteed. <laughs> Little small mo. Little wee baby. Holy. There he goes. Perfect. I didn't even have to touch him. I want a big one. You got a fish? Yeah. Another oh, small mouth. Nice one. Another small mouth. Yeah. Right in the same area. I figured I'll catch her because you just got one. There. Yeah. The Smalley King on the French River, Leo Stackles. <laughs> Water's so crystal clear. You know what? It is, eh? Beautiful water. Right in the corner of the mouth, bud. Look at that. Yeah. Some musky food right there. Oh, yeah. That's why these muskies are so big. Oh, yeah. <sighs> look, at, look, 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 look. It is identical. He's a wounded perch. <laughs> is it called matching the hatch? No, no kidding. This is what we just saw in the water. Something tried to grab it, but the exact same size. Perfect, same colors. So, I mean exact same size, Ron. Like, I know. You couldn't, get, you couldn't tell the difference between the, the two no. baits right there. No. Now, that makes me excited. Because <laughs> I got the right lure right now. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Nice, buddy. Giant. Nice. nice. Look at how marked up this fish is, dude. Something tried to kill this thing. And it's, it's like a four pounder. Look at it. Oh, wow. Grab the net, Leo. Yeah. Hold on a second there, buddy. Oh, man. Look at this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this horse. Man, and he ate it, too. Yeah, it's a cow. Yeah. <laughs> that is a fish. That's what you come to the French for right there. Look at the size of this. Look at that. 
Something tried to eat this fish. That's like a four pound walleye, maybe more. Oh, can you imagine the size of the muskie that tried to eat this fish, Leo? No, <laughs> can't. Holy, look at the head on it. I can imagine catching it right you now. You can tell it's just finished spawning not long ago because it's very thin, but it's got like a six, seven pound head on it. You know what's funny, Ron? Every time we come here, we go to one part of the French and we get a bunch of largemouth. We go to another part of the French, we get a bunch of walleye. We go to another part of the French and we get muskie. This is why it's real important to have a, a good guide that knows how to run and gun these spots because when you got Canadian Shield lakes like this, you always have to look for the spot on the spot. And that's why we, when we come down here, we always give Tyler a call. He always puts us on the spot on the spot. You gotta make sure you get yourself a great guide, guys. Walleye, bass, look at that fish is ready to go. That's a nice, healthy fish. Look at the deer, Leo. There it is, Leo. Look, 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 look. Isn't that nice? Oh, oh look nice. at the hop. There you go, buddy. Right on that edge, you're a bud. Good through, run. Let me get the net. Oh, no, that's fine. No, 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 no. We'll net him, Leo. Ah, buddy. This is fine. No problem. We'll be netting the bigger ones. That's a good Beautiful one. French River walleye right there, right in the top lip. See you later, fella. We're just going along the edges and we're ripping a, a hair jig right along the side here. But what you want to be looking for is any type of structure that has a, the early weed growth. And that's what's going to be attracting the bait fish, which is going to be attracting the walleye, which is going to be attracting the predators. Oh! Wow! Nice fish, dude! Yeah! <laughs> this is a nice one. <laughs> that's a nice fish, bud. Reel them in with the right tools from the Toyota Tackle Box. Okay guys, let's take a minute out of the action and show you exactly what we're using today. I'll tell you what, when you come to the French from the top to the bottom, you want to bring yourself a variety of rods and reels. For the largemouth fishing, we were using this 7.9 medium heavy concept with a concept reel and 50 pound braid. The reel ticket was this new Terminator Poppin' Frog. That got them right to the surface and we caught a lot of fish on that. When they didn't bite that, we followed it up with just a simple flipping jig with a trailer on it. Now as we moved up, we fished walleye. Simple grub, the jig head, and make sure you bring some bucktails. We fished that on a 6.6 medium action concept with a concept reel and 30 pound braid. When you come to the French, you bring this stuff, you're gonna catch them just like we are. Now let's get back to that fish TV action. Buddy. Top water. Top water action right here in the French, baby. <laughs> there you go. Just ate it. Nice. On that popping frog. Yeah. Top water action. Well, we're going to see if they're on the frog bite. Nice fish right there, buddy. Nice and healthy. See you later, pal. Hey, hey, what are you doing with a frog on? Oh, dr trust me. When we go through this with a frog, well, I'll be straining it with a jig. <laughs> Come on, fish. Be loaded in here. Oh, oh my God. That's, that was a big fish. Yeah, that was a good one. The air are just, oh my oh, God. Oh, got him. Oh, that's a good that's fish, buddy. That's a big buddy. one. That's a good fish there. That's a big one there, bud. Yeah. Oh, oh nice. nice fish. <laughs> nice. On the outside, eh? Oh, nice. Oh, that's a beauty, bud. Holy, what a day. <laughs> Wow. No slurp, no nothing. Nice. I knew it was a cow when you did that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. French River's got French some beauty. French River, baby. Nice fish. Never lets us down. Got a solid three and a half, four. Oh, no, that's, that's a big fish, yeah, bud. That's, that's, that's over four. Four change. Do you think we should put him in the live well, get up some pictures Absolutely. afterwards? Absolutely. <sighs> Beautiful. French River right here, baby. You know, that's one of the good things about coming to the French River area, Ron. You know what? You, you got tons of wildlife, things that you would never see 
in other places. You know, you see them here randomly and, and commonly. I've never seen a loon on a nest in my life. No, they're usually see them in the water eating. Got to be sitting on an egg there. You know, that one seems to be really paying attention to you. <laughs> <laughs> He's got one thing on mind. He's got to take yeah, care of his baby. Protecting that baby. Motherly instinct. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Ron. One of my favorite things in the world when you come into the French is the shore lunch. Oh, uh, it's unbelievable. Absolutely fantastic fishing, and then when we're done, We've actually got the luxury of having both Tyler and Ed from uh, Crane's Lock Haven right over here cooking for us. And you know what? What a treat. We've even got our good friends down there, the Shaw Boys. How you doing there down there, guys? <laughs> <laughs> they're hungry and they're waiting. <laughs> so we got some sausage, we got some onion, we got some fries, we got some fish, we got some beans. We got it all. <laughs> <laughs> right after lunch, right back at it. Portions of Fish TV are brought to you by Mercury. Oh my god. Another one. Another fish. You have a bite? Yeah. You bit your dick? Go swimming with it. Oh my god. Big musky. What's that? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> there we go, buddy. Uh huh. Nice. Nice, buddy. Nice. Woo. Oh, he's on one little hook. Look oh, at that. Oh, yeah, I know. One little hook, but that hook is strong, baby. Oh, and he's off. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that's strong. You got to come out here, guys, and I'll tell you what, as you're coming in, make sure you stop in at the uh, French River Trading Post. Really cool spot to stop into. Grab yourself an ice cream. So Ron went in there and got some uh, bubble bath for himself. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even hear. I didn't even hear that one. I didn't see it. <laughs> I was looking. I was looking over at the holes you were pitching. Nail. You're fired, Connor. Dude. I'm not on fire. Oh yeah, you are. Not at all, buddy. Not at all. With the new Rapala chugger. <laughs> what is that bait called? This is the tournament Terminator popping frog, right there, buddy. Wow. Beautiful. It's working. I just missed one too. We got it. Oh man, that was cool. <laughs> wow. Just left it there. He just left it there and he, he just ate it. I was ready to throw my jig in there. Uh, I waited, I was a gentleman. I waited from the head and he just he came back and hit it, just sitting there. You notice, Ron, now that we've gotten this little calmer area, we're getting, we've gotten a lot more action. I, I'm wondering if the ripple in the water is affecting them and honing in on that bait or something, because it, it can't be a coincidence that we've done, you know, a mile of this and all of a sudden they're hitting again. And it, that's important. I mean, to pay attention to details like that yeah. means, you know, you're gonna figure out a pattern sooner or later. It could be the calm areas. It could be whether they're just out off these isolated arrowheads, whether they're in there. Like that oh, nice right fish there. too. <laughs> nice, buddy. <laughs> Another nice fish. Yeah. Don't do it. Oh, yeah. Don't do it. That's the way you swing them in, folks. Just a nice little fish. French River. Which, Love it. Which just goes and proves your point. You know what I mean? You never know. No, you don't. And that's the key, just to pay attention to little details. Like, Leo's working his frog on the outside, and I'm pitching to the inside here in this little isolated clump, getting the odd one. But see, that one came off a little sparse clump. So I'm going to start pitching to a little bit more sparse clumps. Oh, did it really? Instead of a thick clump, yeah. I say you go right against that bank, but I well, really do. I think there's a lot of undercut in there. A lot of water back there. Unfortunately, hard to get the jig in there. There we go. As soon there as it hit we the go. water. Right tight to the bank. So that. As soon as it hit the water, too. Nice. That looks like a good fish. It's not as big as the last one, but it's a fun fish. I'll tell They're you what. They're all fun. That frog hit the water, guys. 
mm. and eat, it ate it immediately. That's what I love. That's when I know they're on the feed. Yeah. Look at that. Just beauty fish. Nice. Love it, man. Love it. Nothing better than top water. I think we're going to get a couple giants, too. But even these are just a lot of fun. Oh, they're a blast. Absolute blast. I like fishing jig. Oh, so do I. But you know what? I like oh. covering water when I don't know they're concentrated in an area. Yeah, well, that's why we're trying to figure this all out, right? You're getting a few near the bank, getting a few on the outside. So yeah. I don't know what's going on, but I know they're in here. As soon as I, I cast into that bank and hit run, that fish was all over. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> I've never seen a two pound fish fly out of the water like that. I seen him boil. I flip my jig and he boiled like this far up over. I thought it was a cow. And then I, I felt him pick it up. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so I just reefed it. Oh my gosh, did you ever. It's time for the Fish TV Tip of the Week. Hey guys, Leo Stockos here with the tip of the week. I gotta tell you, Ron and I put a lot of kilometers on our tundra here, but you know what? Before we go on any trip, we always make sure all our service is up to date. We always stop into our Toyota dealership. We wanna make sure that we get there safe and sound so we can have a great fishing trip. So I'll tell you what guys, before you go on the next trip, bring your Toyota home and drop into your service center. It doesn't look like there's that much of a trench in there. Well, I think there is past this thicker stuff, but we'll find out soon sure enough. This point is gonna... Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, that's a giant! That's a good fish. Then there is bass in here. <laughs> yeah, that's good, man. I thought, nice. I thought it was a giant, bud. Wow. He, he was a big boy, I'll tell you that much. Nice fish, though. Nice boil. I just finished saying this point is gonna... It's gonna give us a big one here. Nice. Hooks right in. Hooks pop right out. All good quality fish. That is just beautiful. All right, back in the water she goes. See you later. on both sides, it's like a funnel. Coontail even. There's one. It's a big fish. Big fish. <laughs> big. It's a cow one. Oh yeah, it's a big fish. Is it really? It's not a pike. When I see that swirl, dude, I thought that was a big, big bass. Not a big pike, but holy. I thought for sure that was a bass. Now what's that thing doing so close to the bath, to the bank there, Ron? It's gotta know. be eating something. Looks like it's really shallow in here. It's all right. Giant bass, bud. It's a five pounder. Hmm. I'm not joking you. We get this fish, bud. You're gonna be happier than us. Oh, there he is, buddy. <laughs> ain't no five, but it's a good fish. <laughs> that's a nice fish. I don't know if that's the one, though, bud. Unless it turns sideways on me. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> Still a nice fish. I'll take those all day long, buddy. <laughs> just shaking it, eh? Yeah. They're all about the same size, eh? Just chunky fish. How far fish. back was he? It's right there. The one in the front there. I think that's the one I missed. I thought it was a big one. You think so? Still a good one, though. That's probably a hundred fish here, bud. Yeah, another one. Chunky, healthy fish, though, man. Nice. Right off that bank. <laughs> I love that bank, buddy. Oh, I just got bit off by a monkey. No. Yep. Chasing this little bass. There we go. Got him. That ain't no musky. Yes, it is. No, it's not. So got him? Oh, yeah. It's a musky. Oh, it is a musky. You're right. I'm getting my frog got. You got it? I don't know. <laughs> That's cool, though. Nice. You called it. Musky. Oh, it's a pike. It's a pike. Is it? Oh, yeah. As soon as I threw in there, I wonder if he's got my frog in his gullet. Well, you're going to find out. Let's see if he's got my frog in there. Nope, no frog. Really? <laughs> nice little treat, though. Ooh, I almost went in there, bud. Come on. Oh, yeah. Now that would have made the bloopers.
<laughs> That's a yeah, nice fish. Good. That's what you're looking for, bud. What is going on? Come on up here, buddy. Nice French River largie right there. And look at this spot for you to jig over here. They're just swimming around in here, shaking it. They just seem to come over to it. Oh, I just had another one. He let go of it just as I was going to set. Oh, I just seen a reed move. Oh my goodness. How many fish do we go by? Told you it was a good bass. Oh, I lost him. No. Yeah. It's a good bass. Wow, did you see how high you come out of the water? Oh, oh no, that was a good boil. Two and a half, three pounder. Yeah. I had it twice. I would say it was a three. Oh, better. Nice fish, buddy. Come on, baby. One more dance. There you go. <laughs> now you can come in. It was not getting out. How much fun is top water? See you later, buddy. Especially this new popping frog by Terminator. The fish love it too. Well, it makes a different sound, right? It's, it's not yeah. just like a regular frog. It and throws can, water. And you can bring it right through the thickest stuff too, right? Yeah, it doesn't get hung up. Well, there you have it, guys, our French River experience. We went everywhere from the bottom all the way to the top in the French and River. And the whole experience was fantastic. The scenery is incredible, the wildlife and Absolutely. the fishing. Absolutely. You know what? There was so much here to do here, guys. You couldn't cover this an entire month. We, we it did just a portion of it. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though, guys. When you come up here, bring everything, because you don't know what you're going to catch from one minute to the next, oh, whether yeah. it's a large <laughs> mouth, a small mouth, a walleye, a pike. We got giant muskie here too, bud. You name it, it's all here in the French River, guys. You have to get out here and experience it for yourself. Until next week, I'm Leo Stockos. I'm Rod J. We'll see you next time on Fish TV. Bye-bye, everyone. Fish TV was brought to you by Lund, the ultimate fishing experience. Your Ontario Toyota dealers, real people, great cars, and Toyota Genuine Parts. Bring your Toyota home. <laughs>